Do you know what's really fun? Soundboards and voice changing on your party, your teammates, as well as even for your stream. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and do things like this. Hello and welcome to my stream. Yes, thank you for all of the bits. I really appreciate you guys. Ooh, I hope you're all doing great tonight. I'm really excited to just riz you up. What? What'd you call me? A boomer? Now with this voice. All jokes aside. Let me show you how to set this up using a voice mod. And the best part of this is you can get started free. Let's get this video going. First step is to actually download voice mod. You can do that from the link in the description or go to voicemod.net. This also supports Windows as well as Mac. And again, you can get started for free. Try this out, see if you like it. When you first open voice mod, you'll be met with this. This is actually the discover page. This is where all of your voices are. This is where your sounds are. And this is where your soundboards are. And you can choose between voice mod voices as well as sounds and community uploaded voices and sounds and adjustments. It's really cool. Supercharged your voice with voice mod supercharge your voice with voice mod you can filter all of them here at the top if you want to be able to find something quick and easy and the same goes for sounds we have all of these voice mod sounds and when i say voice mod this is from their team at voice mod this is stuff that they've worked on and they've uploaded for you to be able to use which is so cool but then you also have all of these that are from the community that you can go in here just from anime you can see there's like dragon ball z stuff some anime <laughs> There's a whole bunch of things you can kind of click and use on your stream or with your party to troll them, whatever the case. But something that's really cool is voice mod is constantly updating and adding things. And you can see that here from the voices, you actually have the new tag above several of these voices. And I'm actually gonna show you what they're working on right now, which is actually the FPS2 bundle. You can see Battlefield Radio 2. I'm gonna click it so you can hear it. This is Battlefield Radio 2. And this is one of the new voices they've added along with Fox, which is this. This is the Fox voice. And again, I'm just talking normal. Like right now, let me toggle this off. This is me just talking normal. Oh, and all I'm gonna do is toggle to the voice and you can hear how seamless and easy that it is just to switch into that voice. So this is the Valerie voice, but you also get a bunch of sounds to try out down here. I've got your back. Thanks. <laughs> but you should be able to just be able to like boost your content. This is what I love about this is they're constantly updating and adding. Now that I've shown you all the stuff you can do, let me show you how to connect your microphone as well as connect your headset. Under the settings panel on the left, you're gonna see this right here, the input for the microphone and the output for the headphones. A really good general rule is select your microphone and when you reach a volume that sits inside this little yellow dashed or green dashed bubble, your volume is pretty good for what you need. Now sure, you're gonna spike above or below, but you kinda want the average to be in this area and you can adjust this slider here or the gain on your microphone if you're able to, to reach that perfect level. There's also mixer mode where you can control the volume of the sounds and the voices as well as what the output is when it goes to your headphones as well as to your computer so you can have full control over your volume. Under general, I would go ahead and make sure if you're gonna use voice mod regularly, go ahead and toggle on launch at startup as well as start minimize just so it's not on your screen every time you start up. Also, don't forget to toggle on voice mod microphone as your default if you'd like it to be that when your system starts. Now that we've connected our microphone as well as our headset to voice mod, let me show you how to use these voices and make some really cool adjustments. First thing you wanna do is do turn hear myself on so that you can actually hear the voice that's being adjusted. We don't have one on yet, let's choose one. So what we're gonna select is actually the villager voice and this might be hard to understand, but we're gonna have fun with it. So for the villager voice, you have the inspector panel. And here you can see the background of Lori and the screen adjust that sound in the background. But there's an enchantment button. Now a lot of these have the same thing, so if I turn it off. Ah, ah, ah. I literally said it's just villager sounds. If that was hard to understand, especially with it being in a villager voice, just know that you can make all of these adjustments and have full customization of what your sound is. And a lot of these voices have that same level of customization. But what about when we're not using a voice? How do we make our regular microphone sound like an expensive microphone? Let me show you how to do that. The first step is we're actually using the clean mic sound. And what we're gonna do from here is actually take the bass and the treble, and we're gonna move them up to 100%. Now, you can have full customization and then make this work for your voice, but this is a really great starting point. Step two in this process is under settings and under the mixer mode or basic mode, either one, you're going to see the noise gate. And this is what's actually going to control the sound that you have in the room. And right now, you hear an air conditioner, which is like just in front of me. And what we can do is actually make it to where that sound completely disappears using the noise gates. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of my sound, which is actually off right now. And I'm gonna look at this level and you're gonna see the green level right here and the yellow level. The yellow level is what you're removing. The green is what you're allowing through. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna move the slider just above where that sound is. So this is before adjustments. This is just my microphone raw. And this is after using the clean mic preset with the noise gate. Now what's really cool about voice mod is that you can use it in any application because it's just your microphone. Things like Discord, Roblox, Fortnite, Valorant, Minecraft, all of those can support voice mod and you can use all of these sounds as well as the voices inside those applications. Not only do you get all of that, but you also get all of the really cool voices like I feel like your voice. Banana. Mic in the entire world, the trash mic voice. There's the Yolen voice as well. And you can't forget about the Kawaii voice and how much fun you can have with this in your parties. And my personal favorite, the narrator. Oh, we can't forget about the Giga Chad. So don't be that person not using the custom voices and having fun with them, especially when you can get started for free today with Voice Mod. Thank you so much for watching this video and click any of the videos on screen now to learn even more about Voice Mod. We'll catch you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.